Daffy Matu, so I love to come in here like a of sports. And uh, uh, it's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be part of what changes the world. But one of the things that I've always noticed is that everybody wants to change the world, but they don't want to change themselves. How can you change the world without you also willing to make changes within yourself? Because if you want to evolve, if you want to grow and to become a game changer in the world, you must also understand what it means to accept that you need to change. If you don't understand change, how do you, uh, you know, plan to administer change? Imagine a doctor who does not understand the medicine that is given to you, uh, trying to give it, trying to give it to you. You know what that means? It means that um, something terrible will happen. So, remember the obstacle to what progress is really about. But be the person who uh, can change themselves and sometimes allow somebody else to take the lead so that uh, results can be achieved. Uh, once again, my name is Adafi Matia Segunay. You love to come here to one of sports. And uh, let's do some symphony of uh, sports talk this morning. It's going to be transfer uh, gist as usual. We're going to recap uh, what happened with the FA Champions League yesterday. Chelsea won four to the quarterfinals of the Champions League already. Uh, people say they are not playing squash battling football. People say they are not playing exciting football. But who cares? You know, uh, the most important thing is you're winning. And if you're winning, it doesn't really matter what people think. You know how that life is. Like, uh, if I'm achieving my goals legitimately... I don't care what people's opinion are. It's just the normal thing. So I don't think Chelsea or Chelsea fans would really care or worry about what anybody had to say about their team and how they are doing, how they are progress, whether they're making the right progress. I don't even know what is right progress or what is not right progress anymore. But it's football. And uh, the name of the game is result. If you're getting the result, then you're doing well. If you're not getting the result, uh, then we cannot say you're not doing well. But as it stands right now, I can jolly well say that Chelsea is doing well. Oi, Chelsea, you're doing well. Okay, so and, uh, Juventus um, pegged back uh, their opponent. Uh, it seems like it was a game that was uh, going to end one way or another. One way or another. I'm going to gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Remember that song? Well, it seemed like that kind of a game, but it didn't turn out to be like that as uh, Villarreal and Juventus, uh, you know, get a 1-1 one -one draw. He didn't take Vla Dusan Vlaovic more than 36 seconds in the game to score his first UEFA Champions League goal on his UEFA Champions League debut. That was a good one, but Villarreal, uh, we're not going to be sleeping on the bicycle, but Chelsea make sure that they took advantage of uh, uh, on ground as they, they went on to score two goals on reply. Well, there's no away goal rules in the UEFA Champions League, so it really doesn't mean anything. The most important thing is uh, attack as well as you can defend. That's the most important thing in the Champions League right now. Well, Russia is playing the kind of play that we used to hear in 1945 or in 1906, uh, but nobody's saying anything. Don't forget that Russia are uh, uh, the host for the UEFA Champions League Finals. In 2018, they were the World Cup host, but that have not stopped them from doing anything. I'm just imagining if this was happening in Africa, all of these guys on social media who are uh, the devil's influencer would have come and be telling you how much of uh, zoo we are in Africa, how much of inhuman we are in Africa. But when it happens in Europe, oh, yeah, that, 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 it's just uh, it's one of those things that what power they are trying to exercise about. They are doing exercise. Okay. Uh, so please, when you guys are raising this, your, I'm not saying that things are not bad in Africa. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that when you guys are raising this, your almighty opinions about we in Africa here. Also, let me also be seeing it in your page when it's happening in America or in Europe or in other places where you think it is heaven so that there'll be balance in the campaign. But let's move on. I know that the money that Russia have paid to UEFA is so big that UEFA are even afraid to even take a decision to say uh, they will not host. But then England, you know England, they like to take advantage a whole lot. They like to gain from other people's misfortune. And they're already putting the one stadium on, ground, on standby. Look, if you guys cannot, uh, if uh, Russia cannot host it, if Petersburg cannot host it, then we are available. Well, everybody, it's a Machiavellian principle. They talk kingdom to fuck one another to right. So it's not something new. Manchester United lazy players are, cr are crying and complaining that the coach is training them too hard. But then the coach reminded them that that's the reason why I'm here. I'm here. If you guys were doing well under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, I would not be here to come and give you guys hard work. And the reason why I'm going to work you guys hard is because previously you guys were pampered too much by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and... Uh, that led to a sack. Even though I'm an interim coach, I'm going to do a job that would leave a beautiful mark on the ground. Well, we can have this conversation now because uh, they beat guess who Leeds United four goes to two. So all of a sudden, all those um, uh, Ganatro uh, 2.0 or Ganatro Pro Mass or whatever is no longer the conversation. But let's give it some time and let's see. Uh, interim reading boss Paul E says, you don't forget how to ride a bike after winning his first match in charge in over eight years, as he admits, 
he didn't see himself returning to the dog that but claims my CV is as good as anyone. Wow. Well, I, I, I mean, I don't have a problem anymore. We live in a world where if you don't blow your trumpet, nobody's going to blow your trumpet for you. So please say it, right? I, I like that. Akim Ziyech has rapidly gone from a 33 million misfit to Chelsea's main man. He delivered another telling contribution against Lille and the sight of him hobbling up is a major worry for Thomas to curl. Okay, well, Chelsea won that's the most important thing, and I think in three weeks' time, uh, Akim Ziyech will be available again. The, the big news of the Chelsea game is um, you know, Lukaku was skipped, kept on the bench. Okay, so why did you go and get in? That's the question that Terry Henry is asking. Terry Henry questions Chelsea's decision to sign Romelu Lukaku and says it's not normal that the Belgian striker had just seven touches against Crystal Palace. It is not normal. Hey, hey, hey. You say, 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 you can never make it. You can never make it. You're supposed to be a dinner man. You're supposed to be serving people dinner that are playing football. How can you play 100 minutes of football as a tracker, very big, and you have only two touch in the first half? I said, oh, Lord, I mean, you can never make it. Yes, yeah, so that's precious about so if you like, come and call me. This is what Terry Horry is indirectly saying to him, but because he was his assistant coach in the national team, He's trying to be very polite, but what he's actually saying is, you look at you can never make it. Hey, seven touch in the 90 minutes game that's extended into one hour. Hey, there we are in the room. Ah, look at cool. Even if even if wish they do you, you don't even do yourself. Ah, ah. Let me say it in Fijian English. Look at cool. Eh? Oh, look cool. Even if wish they do you, my mother will say, even if wish now they worry you. Ah, ah. Where do you they think oh you know go fee pass exam? You they pay us rent. Now you they buy food. Now you go they pay the school fee. <laughs> oh God. Oh, we sign up for Bruku, my beautiful mother. Oh, uh, the fear of my mother to make you carry first me. It's not like you like school, but the fear of my mom. Ah, Jesus Christ. All these days, I'm going to hear children with people talk about PTSD. Uh, what's that in the game? That the mental, mental illness. Another one that you will use this, you this, you this uh, Indonesian generation. Another one that you will use depression. Let's see, let me not say anything now because this thing is on social media. I'm going to put me on blast now. It's not like I'm afraid of cancel culture. I'm not afraid. Let me be very, very honest with you people. Who won't cancel me, may cancel me. That's not what I'm afraid of. But I just want to, I just want to let sleeping dog lights because sometimes when I hear people say this thing, uh, God, I was like, Without without a row, if I if 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 I if I enter you there, if I meet you at the point of your need, you you not go talk on pressure. What is the pressure? You live in a house, you don't pay rent. AC they blow you. There is light. You, you get smartphone. You can access the world. You can reach. You can be in Nigeria here and communicate with anybody anywhere on the planet. And you say you are depressed. Thunder. Thunder. Hey, I want. I can't run when I watch out. Uh, God, come and beat me that I say. Come and tell me what I said. I grind out camera way. Watch out. Sweet. You, 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 you can never make it. Look at you. That's what Terry already said. Not me, me. This is not me. But that's it. You see. Okay, let me read it for you. Why did you go and get it? Terry already questions Chelsea's decision to sign Romelu Lukaku and says it's not normal that the better striker had just seven touches against Christopher. You can never make it. Hey, how dare you? The striking position that I played. Then I gave 20 assists and score over 30 goals in one season. You got only seven touch in 90 minutes, in 100 minutes. Oh no. Well, let's have a let's let's have a good show. Okay, so if you have this, this is the show now. Let's all those was me just doing the appetizer, right? And it's the five cost meal. So let's get past the appetizer. Let's get to the main. If you have anything to say, you have two options. You can send it via WhatsApp. You know, something like I don't want my voice on radio, I don't want uh, people to hear me. Send it via WhatsApp, but when you send it, please mention your name. Or I don't like anonymous uh, messages. Uh -huh. Send it via WhatsApp to 07025000069. And then you can also call if you're the guy who wants to be heard. I like people who want to be heard, who are bold. Uh, you can also call. And uh, I also have a quiz. Don't forget that at the end of the show, my brother, uh, I will know that Peter will be here. You see this, Jesse? Yeah. You see him? You see how? Okay, I can talk. And you see this jersey? This uh, Union Berlin. Now, Union Berlin, no, uh, because German people don't force us. Now, Union, they're right, though. But say now, Union Berlin. Very single, turn to Union. Oh, you know people. 
See, now Union Berlin. FC, one FC Union Berlin, one. Let's say they get two somewhere, but that two got that. One FC Union Berlin, Jesse. Eh? As won by Taiwo Awoni is up for grab. But there is one person that is not eligible. Apart from my staff and crew members, one person that is not eligible. His name is Umoru Eri Johnson from Alausa. You are not eligible. You are the guy that won the Osima Jesse. I, I'm not, this uh, radio station is not the radio station of one listener. Yeah, you are not eligible. But Umaru Henry Johnson, you can flip my people. As he's not eligible, I'm going to have me follow up for Instagram. His Instagram handle is at the grill, the grill. He knows how to treat bully and grilled turkey and chicken and fish with love. In short, just a few days ago, he fed, like Jesus Christ, he fed 100 people with bully, turkey, chicken, 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 children, children, okay, I'm worried about it. Uh, with turkey, chicken, and uh, fish, with well grilled, well taken care of, well marinated, well, well put together, sauce, and uh, all the things that, all the go-go to go that makes it sweet, that makes it go well, and uh, with uh, mineral, but, uh, water, whatever the people needed. Okay, so you can order from him, but it's not eligible to win this jersey. Now, let's say the grand running with the show and uh, deal with some other things. What is wrong with Juventus, my people? Uh, this is when I need my friend, Komal Affair. It's one of the longest friends that I've made in my stay in Lagos. But let me start with uh, 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 messages on the YouTube channel. I see, I, I get excited when messages are coming on the YouTube channel. So, the, 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 the question to win this jersey, you can only win it. On our YouTube channel, if you're not subscribed to it, you're not clicking on notification, please, it's not available for you. So you better get out of here. Uh, so you go and search for Elevator TV Sports on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification button. What's the name of the coach of the first youth team that Taiwa Woni played for? That he was trekking over two hours to training and from training. That's all I need you to give me. And you can, you know, there's a video to that effect. So you go and comment. Comment on this video, on this video that we're doing. I comment on this video and tell me the name. All right, somebody's on the phone line. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Who's this person talking to me? <laughs> oh, shall Ah, who oh, are for me? Anna. You finally come. Thank you. <laughs> you want to come out? Okay. Okay. okay, go ahead. Talk about Lukaku. So, I think for me, all me is very, very slow. And you tell me that I'm not my father. You're not going to very much. Ah, the Chelsea players are not matter. You said he's slow. So, if they give him the ball, if they give him the ball early, would the opposition not get the ball? No, 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 no. no, no. I watch matches against Tottenham and Tottenham and he did the top fifty. There's a lot that I want to give the top fifty. In fact, one that wins the ball, that means that the fans are not winning for that one. And he comes the very slow. Definitely, you both wait. Anybody doesn't name you top fifty. That's what I think I want to shoot. All right, thank you very much, Olua Shemo, for that one. All the way from Opik. First time he's calling. He's always been sending messages on. Uh, on WhatsApp. Okay, so let me hear this. Joseph of Manje, say, I know, like, if this was my name, like my family name, I don't change that sense. I didn't tell you guys that's name. That, that is not the family name that I grew up with. I woke up one and I didn't need anybody's permission. I changed it. If you go to my primary school document, it's a different name. I'm a different person. Like, I, come, come and meet me. Sunday, uh, Joseph Ogbanje, he said, uh, you guys need to improve your league. I want to talk about MPFL, not Chelsea. If your leaders embezzle, just uh, force them to own a team. Okay, no, we can't force uh, people who embezzle money to own a team. That's not, it's a good suggestion that you want to hear about our league, and it's a good one, and I'm going to talk a bit about our league. But the suggestion that we should force people, listen, if you have money in your hand, I can't force you to do what you don't want to do with the money. The fact that you have the power to embezzle money, that means that you're more powerful than the people who want to force you to do anything. It's like telling Tinibu now that Tinibu go and form a football club. I'm not saying that Tinibu embezzle money, but I also know that 
I, I cannot prove any work that I did to have that kind of money. So it's up to you to do your mathematics and tell me whether I embezzle money. But I also know that even uh, a Dangote cannot use bullion bar to carry money. So you understand what I'm saying already. I've already said my piece. If you like, if you don't understand, you know. Uh, so uh, that is that is one. Okay. Uh, we need to wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to I'm trying to see something that somebody wrote now. Um on Instagram. Joshua Badal, we say good morning, Elevator One. Good morning. Hugo Patrick, you say, boss, long time. You disappeared and you abandoned us. Uh, what I like about one, what's your uh, re evaluation of LFC now uh, with uh, respect to uh, recent development? Recall, you said this later. I, I don't understand. The Liverpool will still not win the league now because of recent development. What's it? Uh, Man City just lost their first game since October. You're now talking of recent. What's the recent development? Are they not in a relegation position? Can they not continue their winning again? Uh, Uzon Manuel Ahane, he said, Imperial Soccer Academy in a good state. Please uh, explain what you, you mean by that. I don't know what you're saying. We're just trying to explain what you mean by that. Sonic Letters, he said, Good morning. We talked uh, Lakaka in the team yesterday. Chelsea with a lot of fluidity. We saw Chelsea playing through all the process from uh, all the presses from uh, Lille. Is Lakaka Chelsea's problem or what must Lakaka do? I, I've, uh, first of all, I, I, I've said it from the beginning that Chelsea didn't need Lukaku. They just made the mistake of signing him. And it's uh, it's not going to end in joy. They are both going to part ways uh, no matter how it is. Lukaku is not, does not look like... You know, the thing about improvement is when you think, okay, there's something wrong with me. I need to I need to fix it. I need to improve. Lukaku does not see himself like a player who's got a problem. He just thinks that everybody around him is against him. And it's been the bane of Lukaku. Lukaku is big enough to score goals. So it's easy uh, when people bring up all the numbers that he's got. There are times where your team is now facing faced with challenges. The balls will always come to him. But Lukaku looks to me like a guy who thinks he's already arrived. He's in the class of them, Cristiano Ronaldo, where I don't have to walk. Everybody needs to walk for me. And that's an attitude that is not good. Lukaku is not a club legend anywhere where he can just sit back and tell me, oh, everybody should work for me. He also needs to put in the shift. Strikers, because you are a striker does not mean you shouldn't press, does not mean that you shouldn't uh, go back, track back and help to pick the ball, especially when your leg over is like elephant. So you, you've got to be uh, adding a little bit of value to the rest of the team because in today's world, let's be very honest, there's nobody in your team who's looking up to you. Back in the day, the young players are looking up to the senior player. But right now, the young players already earn money that is enough to take 10 generations uh, take care of 10 generations ahead of them. So they are not looking up to you. They don't need you, per se, to impress you so that you put in good word for them. Everybody holds their own. Everybody gives their best. Everybody fights for themselves. And Lukaku is not putting in that shift, and that's one problem. I've returned. It's like, there you are. Thank you very much. And uh, I really appreciate the support, morale, and everything that you do. Thank you very much. I had to stay awake to watch you live today. Thank you very much. And I'm going to tell you something that happened yesterday and it's uh, continuing today and tomorrow. I'm going to tell you guys. Is it Patrick? He said the Liverpool man is here. Yes, now that you guys are winning, you, you, are, you are here now. Sonic Clancy, he said, if you were to chair, uh, what would you do to improve the team? The team is already improved. I will stop playing Lukaku permanently uh, until the owners decide to sell him. That's what I would do. And then I would also look to bring in another centre back because I don't know what will happen. It's not like Chelsea have a defensive problem, but I just want to have a backup. And I also will not let Christensen go. And also bring another one more midfielder to that team. And if possible, if they don't sell Lukaku, it will just be there. I'll be using it to play FA Cup and Cali Cup and all those small, small tournaments where I focus with the major games like the Champions League. Unless maybe want to play against all those small, small clubs, all those, uh, you know, because that's what Lukaku is good for. Lukaku is not the kind of guy you want to depend on when you want to play against Man City, Liverpool, uh, Manchester United, against the big clubs. Lukaku is not the guy to go to. So let me prepare the young players that I have who are willing to run, willing to make sacrifice, willing to bite, willing to push. Uh, they will gain experience and they will get better. Lukaku is not the guy who feels like he's in a position to move a stone for the team. So I won't keep myself for him. Uh, in going further, he said, is it, is it Patrick? He said, depression is a state of mind, not physical. Uh, it's a state of mind. That state of mind there, uh, they, they, you can also move away from the state. If you don't like Ibo, Ibo State where you do, you will move to Lagos. If you don't like Lagos, you will move to uh, Ibadan. If you don't like Ibadan, you, you can go to London. So depression, that state of mind, stop staying in that state. 
uh, you are free to move. Movement is allowed, so you can move away. But I'm saying that if you were raised by my mother, you're not gonna feel depressed. That's just that's this is my own experience. I, I'm not. This is not a clinical conversation. This is not a an opinion that is up for debate. I am saying. In today's world, I see 15 years, 16 years, 17 year old saying that they're depressed. If now my mama, Christiana of Abruku, who later became Christiana Yorokil, and I born you, you not feel depressed at that age. What do you they do when you're depressed? I see, let's not justify things just because people say it and it's a cliche and it's also, also good to say it. My son is 10 year old, he's going to be 10 in April. Imagine my son coming to tell me that he's depressed. It will have a showdown. Leave all these raising kids at uh, the will. We'll have a showdown. What is it doing that is making him depressed? If they are bullying you in school, bully the person back. That's how I was raised. My mother said, if somebody they find a trouble for school, find in trouble too. The person might get trouble to find. Why if somebody find a trouble, you go come Why? First of all, why do you choose to be the weak sheep among all the sheep? Why are you the antelope that the lion or the tiger or the leopard will catch? Eh? What happened? Not the same level, the round was the run you get. What's there? So when you say things that I don't want to raise my children with, I don't want to put religion in my children at all. That's why I always go to that school. I tell them, I don't send my children to church or school. I don't want my children to be thinking because the biggest problem I did have apart from politics is religion. I don't care where you put it, whether I'm Muslim, Hindu, Ifa, Christianity, as we call it. It's the biggest problem. That's the biggest scam we, we face in this country. And I'm not afraid to say it. I don't want my children to grow up. I want my children to have sense. I don't want them to always share the responsibility of anything in their life to two different people, two alien people that cannot be held responsible. If things go well, it is God. If things go bad, it is the devil. No, I don't want to raise children like that. I teach my children to be accountable for the things that they do. If they do right, they should take the glory and say, I did it. This is me. They should be proud of themselves and say they are the ones that did it. If you want to call that pride and arrogance, I like that kind of arrogance. If they did wrong too, they should not dare to say it's the devil. This, ah, my, my, my daughter always does. My daughter will say, Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm the one that did it. I won't do it again. Because we've learned, we've raised them like that. We've taught them that's the way to go. That's how you see yourself. Take cognizance of the things you do. And if you behave like that over a period of time, you will no longer fall victim of wanting to blame people. Because all this whole talk about depression, 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 is because we're looking for other people to blame, to shift the blame on. So somebody bully you in school. Teacher is not there to, to square the bullying. Uh, your other mates are not there to square the bullying. People are laughing. Go, go back on like a book, come forward, rush the person. You have two natural tools that you're giving, plus your hands. If you can't use your hand, your forehead is a cannon. Your teeth is an atomic weapon. It, it destroys instantly. Let them call the parents to come and sit down and talk about it. They will have the conversation. And I'll tell them clearly that. Now, me teach my kid to do that one. The only thing I will not let them do is don't be the aggressor. But please, defend yourself. That's what the universe is all about. It's about protection of your territory. And the first territory to protect is your mind. So once you raise children like that, they know good. Okay. Like, I always carry my son as a sit down. So we're watching animal. I, I bring in these animal channels and let's watch. And I'll show, show, show them, who do you want to be, the lion or the antelope? And they'll say, the lion. I say, fine, that's what I want to see every day that you're growing up. If you have that mentality, you will not be depressed. So if it's a state of mind, get out of that state. It's as simple as that. Let's come back to sports now. And um, let's read the, the things that you guys have been saying across. Uh, where did that person uh, that said the depression is a state of mind? Okay. Every time my guy has guy, my partner, he said, I feel like Lukaku is being scapegoated. No, it's not being scapegoated. If your leg touch ball seven times in a hundred minutes, that's not scapegoating. Do your bit. Do your bit. Why I'm saying this, I worked under a coach who told me he doesn't like black people. I was the only black. I played a game one time in Sweden. I was the only black person in the whole studio. It didn't change anything. I played in a team where the coach would openly talk to me. Go and read the list book and hear the things that coaches said about him, Victor Kweb and Victor Kweba. In the dressing room to his teammates, how they berate them, how they make them feel like they're shit. But guess what? They stood their ground. The world is not going to be nice. People who are looking for a fair word and a nice word, when God Himself is not nice and it's not fair, it's the people that are the problem of this world. 
is God nice? A God that created all human beings and choose only one nation as his nation. What does what 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 does he show him? Is that not racism in the first place? That's the beginning. Of, that's why I don't get angry when racism is talked about. I don't get angry about it because the originator of racism is God. God chose one race, the nation of Israel, the Abraham children. Even another son of Abraham, God disowned it. And you're, you're telling me about racism that men men create uh, are following this footsteps of God. So sometimes then, when we say scapegoating, people are not going to be nice to you. You are going to end your place. So I don't think it's being scapegoated. Okay, the British press is um, championing the attack with the Chelsea coach, a puppet. Uh, this does what the media says. No, I don't think so. It's Lukaku. First off, Lukaku was the one that went to go and do an interview with an Italian guy. It's, it has nothing to do with the British press. It, you, you, you are just excusing Lukaku. Lukaku created a trap and fell for that trap. So now it should dance to the music that he created. As a matter of fact, I think uh, this uh, Atiba Bankole, uh, but uh, at uh, recognized level, it's Emmanuel Amunike. I can confuse about what you just wrote, chat. I just I'm very very confused about what you wrote. You can make it clearer. Just about dog. He said the name of his coach was Atiba Bankole. Oh, okay, okay. They're trying to give me answers. Oh, that's what Aneku was giving. Impera, 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 Ko, Impera, Ni, Impera, Impera, Leda. Oh, okay. Atiba Bankoli. Uh, no, that's not the name of that. Atiba Bankoli is not even a coach. How can you call Atiba Bankoli a coach? Atiba Bankoli is not nearly the coach. Sir. Okay, the name of the coach was Atiba Bankoli. Okay. Is it Patrick? After we win today, it's three points left to. Uh, what, how many points do you need to win the title? You can be on the same point, the same goals, and you still be champions. Remember 2012? What's that? Three points left, and so what? Like Liverpool will not drop points again. Um, I win a unity platform. You say, good morning, Ghana 4, Nigeria 1. That's what I'm waiting for. You go wait, stay. You go shop your love price next to day. I'm coming to Ghana. I mean, they tell you. You are declared. You got a car. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're going to the World Cup. I already have my ticket booked for the World Cup. What are you saying? Ghana for. I have an office call for against Cameroon. Uh, Comoros. Honorary Comoros on an office call. You need a 419 referee to beat South Africa. We won't score four against Nigeria. Or Daoma can. Name one country in the world that can score four against Nigeria. When we're in our elements. We want yourself to a winning. Here's the Patrick. Is that when you need a platform? What did you drink this money? He reached to ask. He reached to ask. He drink good peace. Eh? In fact, I go messing. He said Nigeria is my second country, but I cannot wait for Ghana to flash Nigeria forward. I like the see uh, this banter. Let's keep it coming because this jollof rice battle, he go go down. It's about to go down. Uh, where's that? Where's that? Song? No, let me not play that song. For you to not come and give me reality issues, okay? Daddy Bayano, he said good morning, good job, one love, thank you very much. Uh, here's the Patrick. He said I really learned things for this show. Nice one, thank you very much. When the media all the same thing about the same player, be very, very careful. Then the then the media is not wrong. If everybody is saying the same thing about you, you have, you have got to check yourself. Uh, he knew the English league before he came. It's not like he's new. He played for Chelsea before, played for Everton, played for Manchester United. He made the choice to come to England. He made the choice. It's any big money. You're not blaming the media for that one. Okay? He took, he took the decision. If, you, if you're earning the money, okay, you gotta see, you gotta deliver. There is a responsibility to you to deliver. I worked in a place where I was not allowed to use the internet, a media house. I was not allowed to use the internet of the office for 13 years. I, I wasn't given a seat, I don't have a seat, a desk to my name. So I come to work, I do my show, I go outside and walk around every time my next show, I come and do it. I don't complain, I make sure I, I provide a solution for myself. So, but you know, the funny thing, all of those things is why I am able to achieve this, because what looked like they were punishing me, I turned out to be, you know, training for me to be this guy that I am. My point is, Lukaku cannot complain about the press, but he's not complaining about the money. And when, he's, when he started the season scoring, score against Asma, they were praising him. This same press were praising him. Lukaku did not complain that, oh, no, I don't deserve the praise. Oh, you, you shouldn't be praising me. What changed all of a sudden? Lukaku wants Chelsea to revolve the team around him. For who you be? That's why he's like, I play You be Zidane. Lukaku should go and sleep a beg, a beg, a beg. Let's not go talk about Lukaku this morning again. Um, Hybri, okay. He said, when the media all say the same thing about a player, be very, very careful. They said the same things about Henry, when Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo, 
that's an English media is. It's not new to them, okay? It's just like what I was saying to uh, Ademola Lukman the other day. First of all, ask your parents and your grandfather that lives in Lagos Island that, look, in Nigeria, we don't pamper people. Don't come here when they start attacking you like Madukana, you start crying and you say, oh, I regret choosing Nigeria. No, before you enter, it's like trying to date a girl in Lagos and you're complaining that uh, they're too like money, they're too they ask for data, they're too they ask for money. Don't just date. Please go and look for one baking for village for Ukotekwene or Ogoja or uh, uh, MBC or Mbano or Romokowane and the rest. Go and date. Don't come and date Lagos girl and then begin to complain that they are too ex exotic, they are too expensive. That's the way it is. You must know what you're looking for. Jesus Christ said in Mark chapter 20, 24, verse 10, he said, What man will want to build a house without first of all counting the cost? What man will want to go to war without first of all knowing the army of the opposition? And then before the, I'm not sure I quoted the verse correctly, but that's what is in the Bible. Now, if you want to play for Chelsea, you know the demand of playing for Chelsea. You can't just sign for Chelsea and then forget and have amnesia that you don't know that the English presence is how they are, and your job is to prove them wrong and continue to impress every week, week in, week out. Harry Kane had been good since 2014. They attacked him like say tomorrow, no day, when he not when he not get good season, last season and it is the start of the season. Harry Kane took, played very well. The team went to the finals and Champions League. They lost. Depressed. Also attacked him. What are we even saying here? Leave Lukaku. You know, Sabi play ball. Bori, not Bori. Olakule Ojo, he said, good morning, boss. Good morning to you. Uh, Sitan God say, Ghana, they claim, say, them get uh, 24 hours light. Okay. Uh, so, them go fit watch uh, how Eagles go beat them. And they also fit watch the World Cup for TV. Here's a Patrick, he say, Sheyola Pijana is the... Mm, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nigga, please. Say something good. Uh, Shana Fijana uh, is the first coach then. Where Olof Fijana did in Aston. Olof Fijana is the football director of Grasshopper Football Club. If you type that name in Google, you would have gotten the answer. But you just was stressed, Misha. Uh, let me go to uh, WhatsApp. Uh, somebody is saying something in WhatsApp. Uh, so, boss, you think Chelsea should sell Lukaku right now? Nobody will buy him. That's the problem. Uh, uh, Luka Lukaku right now. They should put him on the bed because nobody is going to buy Lukaku. Unless you want to sell it for 15 million or 20 million, sell him at a loss. Uh, that's Sean from OPIC. And he said, Ghana must collect. I'm very sure of that. Sean will pull me from uh, OPIC. Thank you very much. Let me go to Facebook and see what you guys are saying in Facebook. I'm still not giving you transfer updates. Right? Okay, so Facebook, Kess. Oh, my brother. Kess Adekoy Asekume. He said, Chelsea is suffering from the consequences of success. That is envy. Who's envying them? Nobody's envying Chelsea. Chelsea are doing well. As a matter of fact, Chelsea is recently the most praised club. I mean, we spend people spend time. If you look at the British press, everybody is praising Chelsea. Nobody's even currently, nobody's even attacking Chelsea per se. They isolate Lukaku and attack Lukaku because Lukaku is not delivering. If people can attack Pepe for 72 million, why would we not attack Lukaku for 100 million? Even Cristiano Ronaldo, the almighty, almighty extravagantly extra successful Cristiano Ronaldo people that attack Aumi Lukaku that rotten fish where they go carry record for Ogbujo market I remember to see that one corner Paul SME say signal very bad which signal I bad though Kes I, I said come I said I think Lukaku will do well with a Riz James in that team so Lukaku battering and Riz James the day Riz James will play ball Lukaku no go play ball when I do imagine Terry Henry or Drogba or Lampard say he no go play well unless one or two persons know they did the team on a do, I did greet you. I'm here, Rama. I'm here, Rama. Kiri, double layers, James. Nah, David James. I will soon bring uh, James Ibori. I think James Ibori will be good for now as well. What could look transfer rumor? What did they talk for the transfer space? Real Madrid uh, still are confident of signing French striker Kylian Mbappe, 23, on a free transfer from Paris Saint Germain, and plan to announce the deal at the end of the season. But this is going to be like one of the biggest free transfer ever. In world football, 23 year old Kylian Mbappe is free transfer. Paris and Germain, the people running that football club, eh, they need to question them. When Fabregas left Arsenal, I felt bad, but we still collect money. And then can Arsenal collect money 32 million free transfer for 23 year old, the hottest property in world football. Ha. Okay, every Spanish club failed to sign Mbappe. Ah, they will be there so confident and they will still fail. And I now understand when I know they contradict me now. And Borussia Dortmund forward Ellen Ireland 21, they will turn their attention to Liverpool's 29-year-old Senegal striker Sergio Mane as a stopgap stop fix uh, for one season. 
As I'm interested in saying 22 year old, but go forward, Jeff. Hey, Jesus Christ. Hey, I thought I always money now. Oh, God. I thought I want to do what event I used to do. No, 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 no. God forbid. That's it. No, 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 no. Jao Felis, that upcoming boy that should be playing for bus to bus, that needs to go do some training in 36 miles. I don't know what's it now. Uh, according to the Spanish champions, uh, the Spanish uh, newspaper, the champions, Atletico Madrid wants to sell him because he has an argument with the coach. Okay, don't, don't forget that the coach of Atletico Madrid is the world highest paid coach currently. But since the stats could be paid that money, his ability to play, to coach a team, to defend well, and wear black and black like a body member disappeared. Okay, Asna, I'm interested. Okay, I'm pass on. The Gunners hope of signing playmaker Sergio. Sergio Roberto from Barcelona have been boosted as the 30 year old Spain international is here to sign a new contract. What does Arsenal need Sergio Roberto for? 30 year old man to come and do retirement at Arsenal. I think that sometimes I they support you, but sometimes you do like who smoke body go. Voila. West Ham have increased their asking price for 23 year old England defender declared rise from 100 to 120 million. I made interest for Manchester United. Okay, they yeah, are money to pay. If you want it, come and get it. Uh, Chelsea are considering a summer bid for Wolves English centre back Mas Kilmer. Wolves is not the new Southampton. Okay, uh, Mas Kilmer 24. As the Blues prepare to lose key defenders for free at the end of the season, Manchester United and five year old Uruguayan striker Edison Cavani, who is out of contract at the end of the season, is said to be willing to listen to an offer from Brazilian club Botafogo. Remember, that's a club that Mikel Obi wanted to go to that time. I mean, last week, uh, Christopher Nkuku will cost Manchester United at least 5 million euros if the press uh, if they press ahead with the effort to sign a 24-year-old French midfielder. I think that that's good money. He plays well. He scores goals. He creates goals. Uh, 75 million if you can. If anybody can buy Pepe, that would be I will not even make Bissalo United uh, for 72 million. Why not? You should sign that one. Uh, you should sign him for even 100 million. There's no problem with that. Newcastle and Aston Villa would lead the, the chase for Joe Gomez. Should Liverpool decide to sell the 24 year old England defender this summer? All right. Tottenham have come forward with the most uh, firm offer to sign 28 year old forward, followed by Bala from Juventus in the summer for Barcelona and Inter Milan. Uh, options that are available to the Argentine uh, striker who played as a second fiddle to Cristiano Ronaldo when Cristiano Ronaldo was at Juventus. Okay, uh, Senator Song, your big belly like Hallelujah Band. You play rich pepper. That is I play, but I was a winger in my day. See, Sam Soje is on this on this show. Sam Soje, I bet not best. Sam, help me tell this cola Abia man with the glare. I I, I they play when I they play as 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 a footballer. This old boy pepper. That is I play, but that be modern the way they design it. They they use a four back four one I tell design player to collect money for back. Pepe will play professional football. You're not going to play for football club, sir. Even uh, all starting, you're not going to play. More good player. Lee Pepe. Bori. Mm -hmm. Where was I? Uh, <laughs> Crystal Palace face a fight to keep hold of 20 year old former France under 18 forward Michael Olise, who is wanted by Arsenal, Chelsea, and Everton, as well as Bayern Munich and Leo. Fiorentina are favorite to sign Uruguayan international Lucas Torreira from Arsenal this summer. After being impressed by 26 year old Mifida's performance on loan this season, Liverpool are expected to renew their interest in Inter Milan's 24 year old Argentina striker, Lutero Martinez. I like him. Uh, who the Italian champions are reportedly valued at 90 million euros. See, boo boo, that's about 71 million pounds. Okay, Inter could make an offer for Manchester City and Brazilian forward Gabriel Jesus, 24, if Martinez leaves the Serie A club. In the summer, Nottingham Forest have opened contract talks with 20 year old Wales winger Brennan Johnson. Okay, that guy that did that to us now. Okay, in a bid to ward off interest from Brentford, Crystal Palace, and West Ham. Asna has set to offer manager Mikel Ateta a new three year contract this summer worth 25 million pounds. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I think I need Asna to stay. Okay, uh, Senator Sam, I'll dribble you in. Eh? I'll dribble you will lose it. Even with this, my one and a half leg. I'll dribble you, you lose weight. You will lose weight. I'll disappoint you like a maca. Okay. Uh, Manchester City are close to agreeing a deal for Brazil Youth International Samuel from Atletico Mineiro before sending the 17 year old forward on loan to PSV Eindhoven. Now, Manchester United, they, Manchester City, they changed the, the, the policy of signing players for 200 million, 100 million. They're not looking for small, small players. That's how the business is. First off, you spend big money to make a statement. Once you're done with making that statement, you change the plan. It's called paradigm. 
paradigm shift. Okay, so they've shifted uh, gear and now they're doing something different. Okay, well, my people, oh God, my, my, my YouTube people are, are leading the race, they're doing well. Okay, mm. okay, so uh, Ivory Ten is saying, no, 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 the press don't attack Hurricane with the same venom as Lukaku attack and attack. Now, you know that the venom and one are from Python, one are from Cobra. Attack is attack. Did they attack him? Yes. Whether it's the same venom with Lukaku own, I don't know. But they attacked him. That's the most important thing. Uh, as Lukaku, if they attack him at all. Okay, is a Patrick he said Ari Kane was attacked. Roy Kane even said he would play him again till he puts his mind straight. Hybrid, ha ha ha. Never knew a guy we irritate elevated to say nigga, please. Ah, no, I say nigga, please all the time. Nigga, please. I say that all the time. Abi Aka Adefi said, Show your love, Vijana. Is Show your love, Vijana, a coach? Eh? What, what's wrong with you people say? Show your love, Vijana. Show your, is Show your a coach? Show your love, coach, or you like? Eh? The name of the coach is Show your love, Vijana. Not only your love, Vijana. Nah, uh, Olori Shagamu. Because your mommy rejected it, uh, because you want to win the Jesse. You just be calling, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is Show your phone? Wait, I'm using it for Instagram. Show your. I'm sure you watch this thing. Sad that they say you be coach. You you don't coach before. Have you coached before? Well, the answer is one of is in one of the videos on my on my what's it called? You go and look for it. As a Patrick, I only know Manu Gaba was the coach that started and won the national journey. Before I only came big team from the tournament in 2015. Oh god, this Jesse here. Eh? You know what my wife said this morning that why don't I just give her this Jesse instead of going to give the, give people the Jesse? And I said, I can't give you this jersey because you are my wife. They all see time I want you on your, on your back. Now people want to see this, this, this whole empire that I'm building through hard work that people like uh, Hybrid 10 and the rest are supporting me to achieve. And I say, I want you to give me money to start up radio station. No, if I want you to say, I tell her, I said, I don't wear the jersey, whether you give me or not. If I know where I'm going to see my guy, my guy. Even if I'm with my guy, my guy, I'm going to wear jersey. Or do you my correct guy? I'm going to wear jersey finish. No, well, I just said, if you have to wear them, I don't feel like you. <laughs> I return. I say, I bet comment on the players. A guy won't go beg for Yuki. So uh, I have my media. We 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 followed a guy on this trip. A guy actually did not go to beg anybody. Let's put the record straight so we don't misrepresent fact. A guy did not go to Europe to go beg anybody. So when um, when uh, the World Club Championship was going on. As an executive committee member or member of the FIFA Council, Amadou, you know, helped the process of fast track those players who have indicated interest to play for Nigeria. That's what you do uh, as somebody who's in position of power. The influence is not a negative one. And so by the time it, it ended with Chelsea winning against primaries, Amadou now told the, 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 the general secretary, uh, Dr. Sarisu Mohamed, the team administrator, uh, Erebi, Dio uh, NB uh, and the coach, Imana Lamunik, uh, sorry, Osin Egwabo and Imana Lamunik, that they should have a meeting in the UK. And that meeting is to also sit with uh, Leicester City's um, Ademola Lukman as well as the other players. So we don't repeat what happened with Imana Dennis. So they sat down. It's all in the movie that we're producing, you will see all of this in the film. Okay. So we shadow them completely all through. So just wait till September, you see the truth. Begging was not the word. The players indicated their interest. And since it was already in the UK, and I've seen a lot of posts, a lot of comments about it, and I just laughed. Because all these people that I was saying, they didn't know where they were going to travel. We, I would say it with all sense of pride. We are the only media that have direct access. Access inside what they are saying, being inside there. And I'm, I'm telling you, there was no begging. So the NFL president called the list that team uh, of Wilfred in the, the uh, what's it called, Kalechi Anachi, Ademola Lukman, and then also invited Ogoneka Ritebo, who is recovering, recovering from injury, also invited um, a few other players to come have a dinner with the coach, which is a normal thing that they do anyway across the, the rest of the globe. And then in that dinner, they spoke. And I, I, I remember, because I have the audio, Iguago said to them that, look, Nigeria is too big to beg anybody to play, and Nigeria is also too big to force anybody to play. The people seated here may not have played for the national team, but myself and Amunike have played for this national team. And we considered it a great privilege and honor 
playing for the national team. So if you are interested in playing for Nigeria, we would welcome you. That doesn't sound like that. We would welcome you and give you fair opportunity to play. But if you're not convinced that Nigeria is a team to play, it is not good for you to come play for Nigeria when your mind is really not there, where you'll be thinking, ah, I would, I would have made it playing for Algeria or, or I would have waited for England and I would have had a big chance playing for England like Bukayo Saka. Please take your time. Take your time. We currently have more players than we even need. So you can have... You can take your time. That's the conversation that they have. So there is no begging. And Ademola Lukman just said from the beginning that, look, he wanted to play for England. Don't know that about it. But he also know that his family, like I said, his grandfather lives at Lagos Island there, uh, around that Santos area. And I know that I there was a time I wanted to go interview the, the old man and talk about the Ademola Lukman thing. But I, I went against him because it would not look like, oh, maybe Idaf is using media to pressure these people, using his media to pressure these players to decide for Nigeria. I always say that, let people decide on their own. I don't, I'm not a pressure group. I don't work for anybody. I work for myself. So that's the reason why we went against him. But I went there Saturday with the grandfather. And the grandfather, I remember the grandfather said that it's his wish that his grandson play for Nigeria. But you know, children of nowadays, they will have to de decide for themselves. That's, how, that's I'm trying to make the man. That's how the man said it. Uh, but good enough is decided to play for Nigeria. That's not a wrong. The thing is, in a World Cup year, many people will change their mind. People will go against what they said. I remember in 2013, Sazo Dewan swore not to play for Nigeria again, not to play on the classification. He went to the World Cup in 2014, he was caught. maybe they were begging him for years to play for Nigeria. He never saw any reason to play for Nigeria. But in 2014, he was at the World Cup. Paid his way through. Uh, if you like, agree, if you like, disagree, that's a business, but I know it, it is. So if you look at it, the World Cup here, people evaluate their options, which is okay. When you have multiple passports, it's very, very good. If you have only one option, it's different. So these players, all of them that have multiple options, are now looking at the options. Would Algeria qualify? Algeria had a terrible Nations Cup as defending champion. Going into the Nations Cup, Algeria were defending champion. They have Mares. Michael Olisa and his agent were playing the, the angle of, oh, it is better to play for Algeria than to play for Nigeria. But when uh, Algeria now failed and wobbled, you know, got knocked out in the group stage, his radar was not shifting to Nigeria. There is also the thing of shame and pride, like, ah, after I don't make Shakara say I don't go play for Nigeria, after I don't do this for I don't go play for Nigeria. If I can't go play for Nigeria now, all these people will call Yamu. A very edgy, uh, easy did not signify his interest at all. A very easy is one of those who believes that one day he will play for England. Uh, and he also believes that age is on his side. So for now, he is not interested in playing for Nigeria. That's the situation. There was nobody begging anybody, but there was a good conversation, which is a normal thing that coaches do. Coaches go to have conversation with players so they intend to invite to the national team and tell them, oh, this is my philosophy, this is my ideology, this is how we play. Would you love to play? And then after that, he went to the Arsenal game. Remember that game that I was reporting live from? Uh, that um, he wanted to see Frank Oyeka again. They were together at the National Club. But I wanted to see him. I give him that confidence and look, even though I didn't play you much at the Nations Cup, you're still in my plans, which is normal, okay? Which is normal. And unfortunately, Arsenal won 2 1. I don't know why Arsenal considered that last minute goal anymore. But Arsenal won 2 1, and uh, Frank Hager didn't play. And then the coach had this time, met some other players off the field at this hotel in Paddington, and went to meet some players at their, you know, a different hotel, went to have breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner with some other players. And it was done. It came back yesterday, right? Now it is time for him to, you know, hold that meeting with, uh, hold that meeting with the NFF technical committee again, and then put on his list. I know that by Monday there will be the list of the invited players for the Ghana game. That's when they will put the pot on the fire and we'll start cooking the Ghana jollof. But uh, Roland, let me call you your name now. Whenever, now, whenever, now, whenever, 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 Whoever is your brother, he did not go and beg anybody. So let's not put a conversation or an analogy that does not exist. But then he had a good chat with quite a few players. And for me, if you ask me what's my take, I think that I fear Ghana because not, or unless I respect Ghana, or let me use the word fear. I fear Ghana because games, derby games have nothing to do with previous results, have nothing to do with whether they are informed or they are not informed. Do we have better players than Ghana right now? Yes. Do we have a team better than Ghana right now? Yes. But Derby games, it's like sports were losing and losing and losing, losing three games on the bounce against some useless team. They went to go and play the most 
informed team in the league. What did they do? They trashed them four goals to two. On the day of the game, every yesterday's result is of nothing. It is the team with the, the right presence of mind, the team that comes in with the right character, a right attitude that wins. And that's the situation we find ourselves. Uh, let me go for that, Dan. Um, and uh, there's a battery bag again. Uh, they're not the bad players, too. Hola, Matthew. You say, Mr. Alegote, good morning. Manu Gaba is the name of the coach. I hear you. Thank you very much. This is Jesse. Let me go anyway. Uh, I bring 10. He said, Emery is a signal. Emery is a signal. Is interest. No, he did not. Uh, I bring 10. He said, Begging is in speaking. Uh, but the way you use them now, the way, see, the way you use them, people go interpret them wrongly. So let's uh, correct that impression. He said, I bring 10. Be like you be journalist with fire. No, it's not a journalist. It's just my brother. Uh -huh. Hybrid he say, how about a Jaria? Was he one of the players he spoke with? No, he didn't speak with a Jaria. Uh, I'm glad Iberi Easy is not playing for us. Wow, you're glad? Okay. Mm. I'm tired of these English based Nigerians doing Yanga for us. So I think we don't have enough time for that. But tomorrow, if you guys will be with me on the show tomorrow, I will explain the reason behind this Yanga. You, you, once you hear the reason behind it, I'm not sure you'll be able to blame the, the players as much. Because you, you're living in a foreign country too and you're going to raise children. And I'm sure when you raise your children, the information you give them about your own country is what will determine whether their heart will beat for that country or their heart will beat for the country where they are. Because if you look at the Indian children, no matter how long they stay in the UK, US or anywhere, they are in love with their India. India is not the best country in the world, but they are in love with their India. Because their parents will always sell to them the philosophy, ideology, and, you know, traditions of India. Ask yourself these questions. These parents who run away from Nigeria behaving like Nigeria is the COVID that is holding their progress. Go abroad, raise children, and never say anything good about Nigeria. Do you think those children now will not manufacture interest and love for Nigeria just because they play football? The answer is no. But we'll talk about it extensively tomorrow. All right. Uh, Ume Oya boy say, laugh at loud. I finally get to see what the elevator looks like. Man, you've been blind since uh, for all these years. I'm one of the media person that is most available when it comes to being available on across all social media. You've not seen me. Hallelujah. Let's let's drink a bell, bell of blessing to you in the words of that poster. Yes, you finally saw me. You were once blind, now you see amazing grace, as sweet as sand that saves a wretch like you. Oh, praise the Lord that this man can see. Who made up my name? I remember listening to you and your worry accent back then on the popular uh, side of radio. You actually have popular side. I uh, saw you at Wave Your Banner and you say you, you're not seeing how I look like. Guy, why are you lying now? In 2013, but it was that. Okay, Chinedo Okoye. For me, if we can get Elise, then we should live easy. And it's a three lion aspiration. Every time. That's a good point, Idafi. Uh, every time, Pastor Idafi. <laughs> my, mother used to, my mother used to believe that we end up as a pastor. Like, it, like in our biggest dream, our biggest ambition for me was to be a pastor. Like, oh God, that's our greatest fulfillment. And on WhatsApp, we have. Um, Timothy Daimbo, he say, uh, good morning, Elevate One. Uh, enjoying the show. The Ghana fan, where they talk, say they will beat us for one, yeah? If they like, may them go call uh, Baby Jet, Montari, ACN, or Apia. Apia, where they go for Apia, where they come out. Uh, they will see, <laughs> they will see no go World Cup ahead of us. Thank you very much, Timothy Daimbo. And then finally, uh, my brother from OPIC, he said, boss, uh, but what about the report? About Super Eagles manager talking to Crystal Palace players. Is that true? Shout me. I just answered that question already. So, uh, and I think, do you know Tony Oboru? Tony Oboru. I don't think I know that person. Maybe you know you didn't pronounce the name very well. I know Oboru, but not Tony. Uh, Onessi. Onessi Oboru. That's the one I know that. But that one I bros. So that one of my, my, like my senior bros. Like my bros, 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 bros. Bros for root tree, you know, my bros for root tree, that, and my bros for many, many things. You know, when I need to get short land, a property to buy for somebody, that's the guy that I go to because I know, see, well, I'm not going to do inside because you know the way I do public so and so many people to the look for what they don't drive me. Imagine if I go and person buy land, we we'll see, well, I did. Jesus is Lord. See, drag, you know, drag my future, past, present, and future at the same time. Oh, well, this is where we draw the curtain on the show. I'm bringing um, my brother. 
Peter Wanode. After that, there's uh, the grassroots sports coming from uh, our very own Idu Adeliki, but right now it's Peter Wanode. So if you're listening on www.elevatedtv.com forward slash radio, you got covered. Let's about why players choose to play for foreign countries than choose to play for Nigeria. Don't forget, the concept of country is an ideology. It's not a geography. So the concept of country is an ideology and not geography. You can be in Nigeria and not be Nigerian, and you can be in England and not be England. So, And you can also be in Australia and be more Nigerian than somebody who lives in Nigeria. The concept of country I've passed the whole thing about geography, wherever you are, that's your country. But rather, the concept of country is not an ideology. What's the ideology they sold you from when you were a baby till you grew up to the point where you now have to make decisions? Don't forget that almost all of life's decisions that we make are the sum total of the information we were fed from infanthood till adulthood, where we are now going to be responsible for our decisions. Most of the people or the things we hate and the food we hate or the countries we hate and not as a result of our personal experience, but as a result of the information we are fed, that are either by the news or by family people, or by church, religion, or anything. Or so, so think about that as we come tomorrow, we'll talk about all of that. But as I go, there is still one last message that just came in. And Doro Jeffrey say, hello, bro. Could you please let us know the time when Super Falcons game will be played, uh, Niger be Nigerian time today, I think it's 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Nigerian time. That's when the game will be played. Thank you very much. God bless you and have yourself a wonderful day. Peter Ewanode, coming up next and to be followed by Idu Adelike Grassroots Soccer Update. Bye bye. <laughs>